Hello and welcome to News View. I'm Michael Badger. Uh, tonight's program will be a little different. I'm going to run a, for Independence Day, 4th of July, a cartoon, a classic old cartoon where parts of it are not applicable anymore, but it's still, I feel, a good cartoon. And um, I'm going to do the news and might run the weather twice if there's time. Let's get into the news. And the first story, in New York, Long Island, officials are warning of a rapidly spreading virus, a whooping cough or whooping cough virus. Uh, Smithtown, New York, Dateline, um, according to uh, CBS Channel 2 in New York City, they're saying that um, a cluster of whooping cough is growing on Long Island. Dozens of people have been infected by the virus. Um, parents are on high alert in the Smithtown area as the highly contagious whooping cough is spreading through their community. It's one of the diseases you didn't think you'd hear about again, said Vic Volkmar. And Donna Wilson said she's not taking any chances with her daughter, Kayla. She's been coughing a bit here and there, so she's contemplating maybe taking her to the doctor tomorrow, says um, Donna Wilson. And that's a quote. And 40 people in Suffolk County, mostly children, have been diagnosed with, uh, with uh, pertussis which is a virus more commonly known as whooping cough. And um, right now I'm going to read off the 4th of July fireworks celebrations for Monday night in Champaign, Illinois. The fireworks will be at Bog, uh, Dodds Park in Northwest Champaign near Parkland College. Parkland, parking will be available in the lots at Parkland College. This according to july4th.net. That's july4th.net. You can get all this information. Um, uh, they're going to have fireworks put on by Melrose Pyrotechnics. And um, the fireworks show should begin at approximately 9.15 p.m. and run for half an hour in Champaign. Um, as usual, uh, some of our radio stations will be providing a soundtrack you can turn on while watching the fireworks in your car or sitting on a blanket in the grass. Uh, they say WGKC um, 93.5, Q96, and um, the other station they list is now um, Stevie J's uh, talk station. Uh, it's still listed as the Wolf here, but I don't know if that means that um, they're going to do anything on 95.3 or not. I don't know. Um, but um, if, if there's high winds, they will cancel or move the fireworks, um, I guess, to, well, I guess so, um, the fireworks display, display will be postponed in, in the event of weather conditions that um, aren't favorable, such as high winds, fire, lightning, medical emergency, dry conditions, or hazardous debris around the area. And um, I think we'll go to the weather now. On um, the weather, here's your weather for the 4th of July weekend, Independence Day weekend, 2011. Friday night, a low temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly clear skies. Saturday, 90 degrees Fahrenheit for your high. A chance of thunderstorms Saturday as well. And into Saturday night, a low of 72 degrees Fahrenheit with a chance of thunderstorms. And for your Sunday, 
mostly sunny skies with 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Sunday night, mostly cloudy skies with a low of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your Monday, um, a chance of storms and 87 degrees Fahrenheit. And actually there's a chance of storm Sunday too, as you'll see on the slide coming up. And uh, stay tuned for more news view um, on UPTV and on YouTube. Here's your weather for the 4th of July weekend, Independence Day weekend, 2011. Friday night, a low temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly clear skies. Saturday, 90 degrees Fahrenheit for your high, a chance of thunderstorms Saturday as well. 
and into Saturday night, a low of 72 degrees Fahrenheit with a chance of thunderstorms. And for your Sunday, mostly sunny skies with 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Sunday night, mostly cloudy skies with a low of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your Monday, um, a chance of storms and 87 degrees Fahrenheit. And actually, there's a chance of storm Sunday, too, as you'll see on the slide coming up. And uh, stay tuned for more news view um, on UPTV and on YouTube. Thank <laughs> you.